Well, folks, you are gonna love this one. Like this video, share this video, and check this out. So this happened on New Year's Day. A large police presence caught on video. Now look at this. This was supposed looking. to be... This Wait for it. What's coming next is gonna blow your mind. So this happened on January the 1st. It's been like, what, two weeks now? This was supposed to be for a fight in a mall. Uh -huh. Look at all of these police officers that showed up. This video posted online. Eventually it came out. Maybe it was due uh, to an alien. We still don't have any clear footage, which is absolutely insane. Exciting. That's what people in the mall were saying claiming it was due to an alien sighting in the area. But what really happened? Look at all these police cars. That's a lot of police. Look at all these police cars. Which, the whole it, city was shut if down. If it were a fight in the mall, you could understand that too. And here again is something that was shot not by someone in their backyard, but yeah. by the U.S. military. And this was leaked uh, as well by Jeremy Corbell. And this was shot by the military as well, which is insane. Like, we got so much footage coming out and what happened in Miami is insane. There's a lot of conspiracies which we're not necessarily going to dive in, but I guess it's safe to say something did happen. Otherwise, you do not call cops in for some teenagers fighting. I mean, damn, bro, you called their moms and parents, uh, or maybe one officer Bruh. with bagels in hand to be like, yeah, bro, yeah, kids just stop fighting. Obviously, it doesn't Great. work like that, but... Look at that, you know, Erica. Interesting. Now, to read up on the Get story, ready for the and a clip. lot of people are interested get ready for the next clip interested yeah. in the story because it's gone viral now let me now, just say I a few saw, things i oh. saw this online yes. and i and i saw the video yeah. and i couldn't tell what it was when i looked hmm. and i was thinking that's weird yeah and you you're also seeing now this is a weird one i was watching this uh, clip that i saw on youtube of tucker carlson on tim pool's show talking about aliens and he's talking about it from like a like almost like a religious perspective. He's like, I think what they're essentially saying is that there's like, he was talking about good and evil. See if you can play, find the clip. He's talking about good and- uh, How many of you guys are religious? Uh, and how many of you guys are not? Uh, what faith you follow? And it's perfectly fine, uh, whether you're Muslim, Catholic, Christian, uh, Jew, or you're agnostic or not. Uh, everybody's welcome. At the end of the day, like we're all humans, right? Uh, and we gotta respect each other takes and uh, religion and their faith. And evil. And he's talking about it in relationship to UFOs. And that they've always been here. Paul Harvey, you know who that is? Sure. So he did a thing, God, back in the 60s or 70s. And he equated it to the devil. Um, and maybe it is. Pull that up, because we, I've, I haven't heard that. And I've heard the Bezbanoff thing. We've played it times, at least. It'll blow your mind when you hear this. It's, um... Damn. It's not All good, right, let's get it. but it also gives us a chance to right the ship. It hasn't fucking hit the rocks yet. Like, mm. we can still come out of this. Paul Harvey. Is this the thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Paul Harvey, okay. Note it. Damn, isn't that the truth though? Isn't that the truth of what's happening? The Sigis cannot even function without pills nowadays no more. And yeah, I'm not talking about like people with illness. Okay, if you have like severe illnesses and you're like old and yeah, like you know, in a, you're in a life threatening situation where you need pills, not talking about that. That's different. But 
we're talking about completely different stuff where the young just cannot even function without pills uh, and they're completely like healthy human beings and they're told like you need to take your pills you need to get your meds and they're taking obviously i cannot say much more than this because we're on youtube but you 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 know what i mean right like <sighs> Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Holy shit. Damn. And when you think about it, this is so true, though. Like, marriages are falling apart in the West. Uh, and, and, like, people are marrying very, very late. I can give my example of myself. I'm 27, and, uh, you know, I am i don't have any. Oh, but I, mean, oh, but I, I want to. It's just that work is so much in the, in the way that I, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm, like, putting it to the side. I'm, like, when I'm thir uh, 30, 35, that's when wh I want to get married, right? You know what I mean? Had it been I was in my home country, I'm currently in my uh, my second home country, Canada. My first one where I was, grew uh, where, uh, where, I, uh, uh, where I was, uh, where I grew up, uh, I was in Pakistan, right? So that's my first home country. If I was there, I probably would have been married by now with, like, three, four kids, you know what I mean? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, shit's so different, man. It's crazy. Like, in the East like completely different uh, a lot of the marriages last long not saying that n marriages don't fall apart there obviously it does it, it does we're all humans so mistakes happen you know chaos happens everywhere absolutely but you know you compare east versus west it's just completely different now and thus i could undress you in public and i could lure you into bed with diseases for which there is no cure mm. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. What year was that? Yeah. Holy what? shit. What year? 1965. That's amazing. 65. 1965? Wow. Listen to what Tucker says. It's okay. my personal belief, based on a fair amount of evidence, that they're not aliens. They've always been here. Um, and, I, and I do think it's spiritual. That's that's my view. So, and, uh -huh. and again, it's not provable, but based on uh, on the evidence, I think I'm with you. Yeah. A lot of the religious folks are also saying that they're not aliens, and totally respect your belief. And uh, I'm religious myself. I'm Muslim, and in Quran, it's uh, mentioned that there are creatures uh, that God has created. You know, some we're never gonna meet. Some we may, and uh, we as humans, we have a very high rank in God's creation, but not the highest. Oh, shit. Oh, Who has shit. the highest? And it's not the angels. It's not like uh, the devil or like the, what's the other, what's the other word? It's not the angels, not the jinns uh, and stuff. All right. I, I want to know like if you're Muslim, if you're Christian and definitely like le if you're, even if you're no, uh, non-practicing Christian, non-practicing Muslim or n just agnostic or you do not believe, I, I, I would love to get your perspective because at the end of the day, we're all searching for the truth, whether you're religious or not. But as a Muslim, like, I, I believe that there's, de we, we just cannot be the only one. Okay, that's n n my religious belief. But secondly, logically as well, when you think about it, there's so many planets, like billions of planets, dog. 
billions of planets and you're telling me this is the only planet where life is and when you think about it okay just take this as a planet right let's talk about this planet earth only humans right we got so many different ethnicities so many languages as well so many different uh colors as well black brown white as well i'm brown personally not trying to be racist here but just you know giving you a fact that's a fact you know so many different ethnic cities as well and then you, you got different animals though like cats dogs completely different you got sea life as well or oceans uh like more than 70 percent of them are unexplored i i believe i heard that only 10 percent of our uh, oceans are explored oh, the rest of it we don't even know what's down there we just don't even know what's down there so when you think about life as a whole on this planet even trees got life you know what i mean oh, obviously they cannot move but they're there they are alive this is why when you put seeds down it grows you know it grows every year when autumn summer rolls around you see the trees die and it gets revived everything has a resurrection if you think about it so you're telling me that this is the only planet where life exists come on now man logically i'm talking logically not even talking spiritually or in a religious way just logically when you just understand the concept of like hey this is just one galaxy and in milky way the galaxy that we're in in this galaxy alone there are billions of planets and there are billions of galaxies and each galaxy has billions of planets Come on, man. There's gotta be some life. Maybe it's just a bunch of chihuahuas on different planets, okay? But there, but that's life. There's gotta be some life out there. But, but well, if the U.S. government has, in fact, had contact, direct contact with these beings, whatever they are, I've already told you what I think they are, and has entered into some sort of agreement with them, which is, which is the claim of, of informed people, um, I would say, whether they're right or wrong, I can't say conclusively. Yeah, but, but, yeah. but, but, but if that is true, I mean, it's a very, very, very heavy thing. Yeah. Are you, well, a lot of people say well, interdimensional are, beings. Right, I, I want to ask, are, you, are you angels and demons, or how would you well, describe these, these beings? You know, I, these are, again, I'm getting into the realm of conjecture, so I just want to say that flat out. Entity? But one thing I know for a dead certain fact, having seen it, is that um, it? there is good and evil that we're being acted upon at all times and I think every person can feel that in himself I mean there are moments when you are moved to do things that are much better than you actually are and they're also more evil and destructive than you actually are you are subject to forces from outside yourself that is absolutely true now we can argue about uh, logically speaking evil and good exists right because think about it you know whenever you're trying to do something you know already deep down whether it's good or bad you, you know what I mean? Why do you have the feeling of guilt? Why do you feel ashamed after doing some act? If you feel ashamed after doing it, you know, deep down, that was wrong. That was evil. So e good and evil exist. Good cannot exist without the evil. Evil cannot exist without the good. Because if evil never existed, you wouldn't even know what's good. Because you would constantly be good and you wouldn't have like another reference to compare it to. Because if everything is good, right, then how would you know that's good? For example, like, uh, if, if you, uh, this, uh, I had another example in my mind, but right now I feel like I'll F it up, so we're not even going to talk, but if I get reminded, I'll, I'll, I'll But they it. are. But every person in the room, if he's reflective, will tell you, yes, I know what you're talking about. And so there are forces that are not human, that do exist in a spiritual realm of some kind, that we cannot see, and that when you think about it, sort of make you think we live in an ant farm. Yeah. <laughs> being, right? And that's Absolutely. just, that is real, yeah. okay? When I, and, and there's... That might be what's going on. A lot of the... Wait for the next clip, wait for the next clip. Talk of, like, angels and devils in the Bible, and good and evil, that it actually manifests itself in physical form, and we don't know what it looks like, because we haven't seen it, but when we do see it, we think it's a UFO, so we think it's from another planet, but it's really just evil, or really yeah. just good, so it's angels and devils. Damn. Is that what you're saying? That That's another perspective uh, as well. I mean, I would like to believe they're from different planets. That's my personal belief. But hey, man, listen, listen. <laughs> Imagine what if they always were here and we just starting to see them now a lot more. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, but, I, I, but I think they, I, I, I do believe that some of them probably are walking among us, right? But they're not from here. But technically, if they are walking among us and have been here for a while, then they're from here. But you, you know what I mean, right? But I, I would like to believe that 
the, some of them are coming from different different planets too. That's what you're saying, boy. That's a that's a fucking freaky argument. Terence McKenna once said it best: that science a asks of you one miracle. That's yeah. the Big Bang. Yeah, it's one miracle. <laughs> it's, it really is kind of like a miracle. Yeah. If in the beginning there was nothing, and then God created the earth and the skies, yeah. and it's essentially what the Bible is trying to say. They're just doing it in a way. And the interesting, you know, the the, the Bible got it right. They yeah. got the order right. Right. You know. And then people try. Okay. Then they sit down and they look at it many years later and they go, "What the fuck were they trying to say? Like, what were they trying to say? Because so much of what they're trying to say, if you're really paying attention, like it seems like it's kind of laid out like the origins of the universe." If in yeah. the beginning there was nothing, yeah, like they're talking yeah. about the Big Bang. If yeah. these scientists yeah. all agree, yeah. how do they know that? Then back there was life. That would be the Big Bang. Why wouldn't they assume back then that God was always around? Why would they assume that God had to make everything? Why would they assume? And, and when you really think about it, like who created God? I know this is one of the questions from massive, biggest question from uh, atheists, right? Like who created God then, right? Like, holy, when, when you just start to think about it, like, when you look yourself in the mirror and you're like, I'm really in this b I'm really in this biatch, you know, I cannot say certain words on YouTube. When you just look at yourself, look it in your eyes in the mirror. Like, I'm not sure, like, there are many people that don't even question their existence. There are a lot of people live for 50 years, 100 years, they don't even question anything about why they're here. I question very frequently as well. It's like, holy man, like everything around you man there something somebody created that right like whether that be for example this water bottle right how how do we have that obviously we created but y y y you know what i mean right then you get in the rabbit hole so okay we created this then who created that who created this how who created you your parents who created your parents your grandparents your grandparents you know it, it just goes on forever it just goes on forever that there was a beginning and an end just because they have a beginning and an end is that rational why why would they assume that and why did everybody assume that maybe because they fucking knew maybe because at one point in time whether it's ten thousand years ago twenty thousand years ago they had figured a lot of this shit out it makes sense if you buy into the idea that there's been a restart of civilization and then you go back and say okay what is the history of the bible like how old is it what's the oldest version like what's the, the, well, the oldest well, the version oldest of the story version. Like, yeah. who knows right, the right. Old who knows version. right what was the original like you're playing a game of telegram right or telephone with uh over a thousand years yeah with who knows how many people and maybe what we're getting at in the bible is just the longest game of telephone of a true story but it's showing you that there are evil forces at play and there are temptations that well, you must resist lessons those. Yes. In, a, in a story that you can understand. But when you hear a guy like Tucker Carlson saying that he, like, what else do you know, bro? Tell, say, say what you know. Like, what, what makes you say that? Yeah. Because if that... I, I think if you're making a claim, you need to back it up with evidence. I think that's what it comes down to at the end of the day. Guys, it has been a pleasure. Click on this video on the screen. This is an absolutely insane video. Check it out, and I will see you right there.